Hello everybody, this is Mr. Uberduck and welcome back to another Redstone video. Today I'm here with... Oh man dude, I need it. And we made something quite cool. Just before we start, let's say we are on his server, which has the yeah. best command ever, slash IP. Mm -hmm. So there's the IP for you. Maybe and I should put it in like rainbow colors. That would make it even better. <laughs> but yeah, you should join the server. Do it. Yeah, you should. Do it. Do it. But we made something cool. And mm. we don't really know what to call it because everyone always gets confused. But the community yeah. has called it a three high wall door. So if we see the closing, you might understand what <coughs> I mean. You can see the button is on the wall, which is in line with the door. Yes. It's not really another way of explaining it. How big is it? You find out. Okay. This was the smallest bucket proof three high wall door till ABH came. But we made this ages ago and we've only just got around to recording it. So we're gonna go ahead and say the smallest even though it's not. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, but yeah. This There's the dimensions. This is all the redstone. How big is it? Six by three by fourteen. That's small. Mm -hmm. This is all the redstone. Tiny. It does it beat some events. Resource intensive with these uh yeah, cauldrons. They do have to be stacked. Point, but... Oh well. But it's small. Mm -hmm. And also the closing is a bit weird because it's exactly the same as the opening. Yeah. It kind of sucks. And it's not completely in sync between each layer. But it works, doesn't it? So. Yeah, it does. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. Do not click off the video. There is more to it. I know I said goodbye, but I've got another creation to show you. This is the official smallest expandable three high wall door. And it's one wide. I'll explain that in a bit. Yeah, it's one wide. You may be thinking, how can it be one wide? It has to be, what, at least three wide for the input piston pusher to push the blocks up and the actual door? Well, no, not if you do this. So, there's the extension. It extends, and here's the novel bit. That pushes up, and the whole thing fires. Very slow, very derpy. But it works, and it's really... Small, so it's actually 184 blocks in volume. Can't remember the exact dimensions, but that doesn't really matter. So 184 blocks in volume, which is smaller than ABH's, minor bobs, and cellulenses. Just like to say, Bob and I made a bigger version of this one wide together. Uh, he did help, and I just compacted it down to this. It's seven wide and whatever tall. You do the maths. I can't be bothered. But yeah, what we do is we make when we turn the lever off there will be a short pulse here which will push all these blocks up one that will push the redstone block in front of this in front of this repeater repeater will carry the signal go up this line and push the piston back down and that gives us a pulse and by pushing it down it will also push all of these pistons into place and that's lovely when these pistons roll back in place the triple will fire and it's crazy. I how it works is just ridiculous. I just messed around with timings until it worked. And it does. You can see there's a lot of stuff where it doesn't do much, and that's because I have to fire the whole circuit just to bud it. To update the bud, and then we fire it once and it goes pretty quickly. But yeah, that's basically it for this video, that is the end, so if you want a tutorial for this, just say I might give you one. Probably not, but if enough people, of course I will. But anyway, my name's been Mr. Uberduck, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. And go subscribe to Bob.